Hi, this is Roger Ewing Taylor, Man Across America. Traveling across our country, visiting all of our national parks in order to gain experiences and information for my books. You can learn a lot more about my books by going to my websites, RogerEwingTaylor.com and LastWhiteFairy.com. Today, we are in northwestern New Mexico at El Mal Pais National Monument. About 200,000 years ago, this area was volcanically active and lava flowed across the landscape. Over the years, it hardened into rock like this and left huge lava beds across the southwest. Now, an ancient people called the Anasazi were able to make trails across these lava beds. We're going to take a look at one of those today. Later on in the 1500s, the Spanish could not bring their horses or pack animals across the jagged landscape. They had to go miles and miles around them. Therefore, they named the area El Mal Pais, the Badlands. The Native Americans of that time continued to use the trails built by the Anasazi so long ago. What happened to the Anasazi? No one's really sure. Perhaps they were destroyed by rival tribes, or perhaps they were absorbed into other tribes, or perhaps they're still here. Their spirits walking the trails that they made so very long ago. It's easy to see why the Spanish could not bring their horses or pack animals across this terrain. These sharp rocks threatened to tear up boots and shoes, never mind poor animals' feet. Upon the rocks, tiny organisms called lichen form. And what the lichen does is, over many, many, many years, breaks down the rock into soil. Now, there's a lot of lichen around here, which shows that this is a very healthy desert. And what that means is that thousands of years from now, this might be very fertile ground. Perhaps some future farmers may set up their homesteads here. In order to navigate these trails, you have to look for kern, cairns. Cairns are rocks that have been piled up. They were piled up by the original Native Americans and have been maintained by Native Americans and now the National Park Service ever since. Without the cairns, a traveler would easily lose his way in this monotonous landscape. This is Roger Ewing Taylor, Man Across America, coming to you from the lava beds of El Malpais, and I'll catch you at the next stop. Thank you.